Oh, this is a quick tutorial on Motion 3. Um, basically, very basic lower thirds, how to create one in Motion and save it as a template for Final Cut for your future projects. So, just going to set my window up to my workflow, how I like it. I usually have the project area here at 50% so I can see exactly what I'm doing. That's it, and I have the safe zones on as well, so advise that you keep that on. As I say, this is a real basic tutorial, so don't get too excited. There's no thrills on it, it's just a basic bit of motion. So here's our group, and in that group, I'm going to create all my text and my lower third rectangle as well. There's a rectangle tool, create it whereabouts you want it to be positioned, stick it about there, and then just stretch it over so it comes away from our canvas. That's a nice back right. Let's go to our inspector and just change the colour. I'm just going to choose a white one here um, and I'll bring the opacity down just so you can still see the image in the background once I use it for the films. Okay, so click on the group. We're now going to uh, put some text in there. And I'm going to use two pieces of text. Um, I'm going to use a, a, a person's name and their occupation, if you like, or their profession. So just choose the text tool. Type in anyone's name. Obviously, this would be your choice. Let's choose Jason Smithers. I haven't got a clue who Jason Smithers is. Just, just made it up. It's not me. So let's position that and I'm going to create my Jason's occupation. He's a managing director. So we'll call him the managing director. Now, just going to rearrange my titles so they look a little bit cleaner on that lower third. Just increase that to 70%. Not percent, sorry, just size 70. And the managing director bit, just make it a little bit smaller than the name and just off center it there. I think that looks pretty smart. Now I'm just going to give it a quick, going to make it stand out a little bit with, the, with a, a shadow. I mean, you can leave it as it is, but I'm just going to put a, a, a basic shadow on it. Sometime. If you come over here to the text properties, you've got text and you want to click on style and you'll find drop shadow. And it goes to a default drop shadow, that's fine for me. And I think I'll leave the managing director without a shadow actually, just to so I can make the name Jason Smithers stand out even more. So that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's now close the group and I'm going to, I've put it all under one group because. I, I want the whole lot to be moving at the same time so um, my motion is going to be on the group itself so the text and the shadows and the color and everything else in the rectangle is all going to move at the same time that's uh, if you go into position that's up and down and the one we're looking for is left and right because we want it to come in from the left and I position my lower third to where I want it to start so I want the, I want the lower third to start there and I'm just going to hit add a keyframe so it tells motion where to start the motion and press record now it's going to record wherever I put the playhead and my position so if I put the playhead around about a second into it so for that first second it's going to be moving from left to right you can see that there about one second Okay, now pull that in where I want it to end, which is about about there, and stop record. Now when I take my playhead back, you'll see this is the motion that I've created. And by using the group, everything's moved at the same time, which is great. It's just how I want it to look. That's pretty good for a basic lower third. 
Okay, now I want to make the outro so it's going to come out uh, off the screen. So we're going to go to about five seconds. It's a six second clip, so about five seconds it will start moving out. Go back to the group, put in another keyframe, press the record button, and move it along to six seconds, which is the end of the lower third. And drag it off the screen. So now what I've done, I've created the lower third, I've made it uh, coming from the left, and after five seconds it's gone back home again and the whole other third duration is six seconds watch that one more time in it comes okay what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to look at the text now the text kind of comes with it but I want the text to to fade in. The lower third is going to come in the grey area, and then the text. Once it's settled down, the text is going to fade in. So I'll click on my text. Let's change uh, the name first. Just move it along to where I want it to come in there, and I'm going to make that fade in now. And it's pretty simple to do. There she comes. Okay, so I'll click on the name, and I'm going to come up here to the Add Behavior tab. Add behavior, basic motion, and click on that little bastard there. Fade in, fade out. That will do. Okay, now you can see it fades in nicely. I'm going to want to do the same thing with the word managing director. So we'll come up, do exactly the same thing. Add behavior, basic motion, fade in and fade out without calling it a bastard this time. My projects are always uh, always leaving at the default of one minute, so I'm just going to. Uh, trim this all down to six seconds which is going to be the overall uh, the time of the entire tra uh, entire lower third just bear with me a second and I'm just going to change my project properties now and make it six seconds uh, the background is most important you want to keep that transparent otherwise if you leave it as solid uh, you're going to export it into Final Cut and all you're going to have is a black background so leave it as transparent and your lower third will, will um, overlay any image or video that you've got okay and here we go it's the final what it looks like there you go pretty smart very basic uh, lower third uh, there's nothing tacky about it there's nothing wrong about it it's just as it is very basic um, and you want to save it as a template now so you can use it in Final Cut and just call it whatever you want to call it I'm going to call mine Lower Third Basic and that's now created a new theme for me Lower Third Basic and in that theme will be the Lower Third that we've just created um, just give it a bit of time to render and meanwhile I'll open up th Final Cut and uh, okay that's done, the rendering is done so we want to try and find that Lower Third we go to the um, viewer, click on the little A button and in templates down here you'll find it what you've written down what you saved it as and it's now going to pop up in my viewer and I will there you go and I'm now going to just drag it on my timeline and you'll see it overlay over the top of some of my video which has got nothing to do with managing director but it gives you the idea and that's all there is to it uh, really easy once you get into it um, from there you can you can create some really uh, fantastic lowest thirds for yourself